We're getting good at adding and manipulating elements in our MuseScore compositions, but there may of course be occasions where we need to take things out and delete things. And that's really easy to do here as well. If you think about it, there's two different kinds of deleting or removing that we might want to do in a composition. The first is like we had an eraser and we just wanted to rub something out from the score and write something in over the top of it, but leaving the structure and the, and the length of the score exactly the same. So let's do that first. Imagine I didn't want this first bar here. I just wanted to put something completely different here. Well, actually, this is really easy. All I need to do is select the part of the music that I want to get rid of. It might be a single note. You see if I select that there, all I need to do is click on it and it turns blue, showing me that that is selected. Or I can do something like clicking in the white space of the bar to select the whole bar. Or I can do a partial selection by clicking the first thing I want to select, pressing shift and clicking the second thing that I want to select. So there's all these different ways of selecting what I want to actually get rid of in my music. Let's say I want to get rid of these first two notes. All I need to do is select those notes and press the backspace button. What I get is these rests appearing in the music. So I've taken the notes out. Of course, we still need to have four beats in this bar. So when we take the notes away, we have to replace them with rests. And I can very quickly then just add in some different notes instead. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I can add some different notes instead and that will complete this bar and allow me to overwrite what was there before. And we can do this in, on a large scale as well. We can delete several bars at once, leaving empty space. So say I wanted all of this uh, music to go back to being just empty and ready to be written in, then all I need to do is select all of that. Again, I just clicked on the first thing I want to select, which is this A, and the last thing, which is this fourth bar. And if I press shift and click again, then I get that multiple bar selection. And then pressing backspace is the thing that I need to do to clear that space out. Now, it might be that something different needs to happen. It might be that I've decided that I don't want these first four bars at all. Actually, I, you know, I plan to have some introduction or something here, but in the end, I decided that really, I want the music to start here in bar five, and I don't really want these bars to be here anymore. They're just kind of getting in the way. So the way that we can actually remove complete bars or sections from our music is to do something slightly different. We can select the, the bars that we want to get rid of, and that was again with a kind of click on the thing that I want to select first, that's this bar, um, and then shift click on the thing that I want to, the second thing that I want to select, and that gives us everything in between is selected. And if I press command backspace, that will then remove those bars that I selected from the score completely. Those are gone now and everything else just shifts upwards to fill in that space. So depending on how you want to delete things, how you want to remove things from your score, you're either going to be selecting what you want to get rid of and pressing backspace to rub it out and leave rests in the place of those notes, or you might want to get rid of the bars entirely, in which case you're going to select those bars and press command backspace to say goodbye to them from your score forever.